Hi there, I'm Bradley Sharp, and it's a Repossible podcast and YouTube channel. I'm here with Karina Klassen. Klassen, right? Yes, that's yes. right. Yes. And this is our, I think, fourth take because <laughs> <laughs> the camera keeps falling over. The tripod, although it looks perfect, kept, I don't know what was going on. There was some odd balance thing. Today we're talking about confidence. And I think, had the two of us not as much confidence as we have, I don't know, it could have wrecked our, our interview. It could have thought, oh, this is a terrible beginning. Oh, what do we do? Should we do go somewhere else? Should we try? It's not the right day. I don't know. But I, I don't know. This is my opinion. I think this is, this is a pure sign of, of confidence and how yes. we can go with things. Welcome. And that was my wacky introduction yes. with what's going on here. Yes. So welcome. It's great to talk Thank with you. Thank you very much. It's really nice to have me here, Bradley. And we can also look at it from another angle. Because it's all about balance. And we found the balance in ourselves with our confidence yeah. as well. Yeah. And our self-love. Wow. So maybe this is a sign. Yeah. Because I, I just think this could have gone so many different ways. It, it fell over several times. We've moved around this table, I think, three times. There were people sitting here. There's all kinds of distractions and things that could have made it go, go wrong. And so do we have the power? Do we have the control? Do we have the, what's the word, power to, to decide? Yes, I believe yeah? so. Yes, I believe. I think you can't always um, you know, prevent what's going to happen to you. In life, there are going to be bad things, there are going to be good things. It's how you deal with it. And I think we do have that power okay. to, you know, to decide, you have a choice, how to react to it. And I think we yeah, just yeah, saw yeah, the fun, yeah. fun of it instead yeah. of seeing it as something that went wrong. Yeah. Confidence. And we were saying, so you think we decided we have the, keep using the word control, is it the power to decide whether or not we're okay with that? Do we have the confidence to make what happened, this rough beginning we had today? We didn't let it ruin our afternoon. We didn't say, forget it, we'll do it some other time. We went and, with and it. And maybe power is a, is a bit strong, but maybe yeah. we say we have made a deliberate choice okay. to yeah. not let it ruin us. And maybe because we have confidence. Um, I think one of the things when you have confidence is that you are not easily out of balance. So you oh, remain much nice, more stable. Nice. So no matter what happens, whereas in the old days when I used to be very insecure, when something small would happen, it would affect me. But now it takes much more to change my, wow. my attitude, to change my wow. mind, etc. You know, I think if you're watching or listening to this and you hear this and you say and you're someone for whom external factors can change your mood or your day so much and you feel that you're like at the mercy of That's external it. factors, then you don't have this strong tripod and your confidence can be knocked off of, knocked off the table. <laughs> and and need to regroup and can't deal with it and you're having a freak out and forget this oh you know forget it today we're not going to do it today and yet we were laughing about it uh, thankfully my whole phone didn't fall off the table and we just rolled with it yes. and even enveloped it into what we're saying for me hmm. this is this is really what happened in my life i used to you know let my my mood my confidence much more be influenced by what happens from the outside. Okay. And wow. I think the more confident you become, there is this stable base inside of you. So rather than you know being the victim of everything that happens outside of you, you can say, okay, no, I can make a choice. Those things will keep on happening. But if you deliberately choose to respond differently, you have different outcome. Because now we just had a laugh. Yeah, yeah. And it could have been that I would have thought, oh, Bradley, you could have organized it, blah, blah, blah. There wasn't yeah, even, yeah. The, that thought didn't even cross my mind because I choose not to think like that. Okay. I like your, 
use of words choose. I choose not to think like yes. that. Yes, yes. And I like you said power is maybe too strong. Choice is nice. Yes. I can choose yes. how to react to this situation. Yep. Wow, that's, that's powerful stuff. To bring back the word power. I keep going with the word power, I don't <laughs> no, know why. No, no. I'm but happy, that's powerful. That's powerful yeah. stuff. To be able to have the ability, or, or even the idea that I can choose here, what, how, how are we going to react to this? Yes. Wow. And this is supposed to be a small thing. Yeah. But with the bigger things in life, you know, you, you can't prevent them. But I see so many people that let something that happened in the past ruin the rest of their lives. Wow. And I think it's realizing that, okay, it doesn't have power over me because I can choose, you know, to, to yeah. respond to that differently and to still be happy and to see, okay, what did I learn from that bad thing? Wow. That is bigger than the camera falling over. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I yeah. can see that. Yeah. And so this is a tiny little example, but having more confidence can help in so many so ways. So many ways, yeah. so many ways, yes. And also, what I've seen with myself, because I've had quite a journey, um, gaining this confidence, and then from that, I gained confidence because I noticed that I'll survive. You know, being through those rough wow. things, and knowing that you'll pop out, so now when something bad happens to me, then I think, okay, couple of weeks, couple of months, I'll be 100% back to where yeah, I was. Yeah. And also try to see what is this telling me? What can I learn from it? Okay. So that maybe not even be, if you're at a certain level, not even be back to where I was, back to where I was, and then learn from it, so maybe go even higher. Yes. Ideal, oh, oh, ideally. 100%, 100%. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because what, what I see in my life, when things nowadays go wrong, there's always a hidden message for me. Okay. And sometimes wow. it's wow. difficult to read the message. Yeah. And then I think, okay, what is it saying to me? Why did that go wrong? What did I have to learn from this? And then sometimes, you know, like weeks later, I think, oh, that was the message. Okay. You mentioned the word journey. Yes. And uh, usually I think the word journey is overrated, but I do like it in the phrase, it's the journey, not the destination. Yes. Um, how did you come to write this book? Is there, like, why did you write this book? Or how, what is your story that you, you felt the need to write this book? First of all, it came to me like, okay, like intuition, you need to write wow. a book. And at okay. first I was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Why should I write a book and about what? Et wow, okay. But then I let it rest for a while and then I realized, you know, I come from a background where I was so insecure and so many things I didn't do, I didn't get promotions, I didn't dare to do because I was so insecure and over time and because of things that I've learned and done, I've gained now so much confidence and I noticed that it totally changed my life and I am a thousand percent more happy I can say now that I feel the way I feel so I thought okay even if I can just help a few people yeah. with this book to have that same feeling that I had yeah then it's already worth it okay you said You've had several challenges, insecure, and then several challenges yes. along the way. So why didn't those challenges just knock you down and you're done? How did you get through them and then be able to use these learning points? Yeah, well, I think maybe part of it is I am a positive person, so okay. that's, that's one thing. Um, but I also realized because of coaching and personal development, like, okay, if I look at it in a different perspective, if it was not against me, but if those things happened for me wow. to learn this lesson, yeah. then what am I supposed to learn? And for me, a big eye opener was because a lot of things happened in my life that had to do with boundaries. And at a certain moment I realized, 
maybe I need to learn in this life how to set boundaries. And the funny thing is, when I got that realization and I started practicing setting boundaries, I didn't get those challenges anymore because it looked as if I became proficient in setting boundaries. And that increased my confidence. Okay. It, did, they, did it help increase your confidence because you got better at the boundaries and so then they weren't as much failures but learning and you progressed forward? Both. Well, that's one aspect and another aspect is what I earlier mentioned, you know, like, okay, I can overcome this. And what I also always try to do is take it up and see, okay, in the bigger picture of the whole world, how big is this problem? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, usually I it's not a, that big. That is a positive mindset attitude. Right it is, there, yeah. yes. Even, you know, like, okay, so I didn't get a promotion. Okay, so I did lose that assignment. Okay, so, but I'll get there. And having this, you know, through confidence comes also faith and trust, trust in yourself. Yeah. That you will land again. And knowing that is like, okay, so these things happen. I'll be back. Wow. I have a certain person in mind I'm thinking of. I won't, I won't mention him by name, but if he watches this, he'll probably know who he is. So he's a young guy and he, and I could even be speaking of myself actually at age 20, but he just doesn't, and I know I'm not talking about just him. I know there's a lot of people out there who probably have this, especially I would, I would stereotype and say more male than female, but he doesn't ask for help. And one of, as, as a, um, okay, I'm giving it away. I was going to say as a father, I'm like, oh, is it your son? <laughs> okay, fine. The cat is out of the bag. It's my son. Um, he doesn't ask for help. No. And I, one of the, th like, as a father, I want to, you know, give him yes. everything I can yes. and, and give him the wisdom I have and help with my experiences I've already been through. And one of the things I want to tell him is that please ask for help. Yeah. Because it, and I, we talked about this earlier a little bit, vulnerability, but also, and I think this is a male thing, it's kind of like, I went to some stand-up comedy on Saturday and she was talking about men not asking for directions. Yes, same, 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 same idea. thing, yeah. same thing. So yeah. here he's asking for help, but, but he doesn't ask for help for anything really. No. And I, I always come back to this, I won't go into the entire story, but I really was trying to get a job in Germany. I tried my best, I did everything I could, I did, I can do it, I can, I'm gonna try harder, and I failed, and I failed, and I failed, and I failed. I can try harder, I can try harder. Fail, 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 and I finally am like, I'm, this is not gonna happen. No. And I'm a super positive guy, it's not gonna happen. Finally, I called my uncle and said, can you help, I'm struggling. I, and I even told him, I'm like, I've done everything I can, I don't wanna ask for help, but I'm asking for help, can you help me? And he's just like, sure. Can and how me? was that for you? It, it took, in, it, the first, Part was hard because I'm like, damn it, I failed because I, I'm Mr. Tough Guy. I can do this on my own. I don't need anybody's help. I can do it alone. And the first reaction was, damn it, I, I failed on my own, and I had to show vulnerability and weakness, typical male thing probably, that I'm asking for help, and he gave me the help, and then I succeeded. So it was proof that I couldn't do it alone. But then very soon after, and of course much later now, I realize, I was going to say that's how the world works. I don't want to say that's how the entire world works, but, okay, one note on that, because I think people think asking for things is a, a sign of weakness yeah. or vulnerability. Yeah. And I think I'm just mature enough or experienced enough to say, get that out of your head. Yes, definitely. Stop it. Yes, stop and, it. And because another element of this, and you, Younger people maybe won't understand this, but like that uncle of mine, he was absolutely overjoyed to help me. Yes, and people he, want to help. He was annoyed that I didn't, didn't ask help. him earlier. Yeah. yeah, so maybe the rejections were lessons for you to learn how to ask for help. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. I, like I said earlier, I think 
um, vulnerability invites vulnerability. And also, as an example, for your children, if you don't ask for help, how can you expect your son to ask for help? Yeah. What yeah. kind of example are you yeah, giving yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't then. I do now. <laughs> now yeah, but you do now. But yeah. you see, that. so it's, yeah. it's also like, okay, and I think there are so many experts in the world, we don't know everything. Yeah. So why not ask for help? And I get it when I, when I was younger, I may not have asked for help that often either. Maybe it's um, not only out of insecurity, but it's also like, okay, I want to find out on my own. You still have this young kind of, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. feeling like, you know, the whole world, you know, is waiting for yeah, me and yeah. I'll figure it out. Yeah. But on the other hand, there is failure. So they go sort of ask, they, say they go hand in hand. It means like not asking for help may be that you fail. Yeah. Failing often may reduce your self-confidence and then it's maybe even harder to ask for help yeah. because then you have to show them yeah. that you completely failed. Yeah. And be okay with that. And be okay with that. Yeah. But that's where my last part of the book is, is about, that self-love. Because self-confidence is very much depending on your skills or things that you achieve or maybe even how you look. But self-love is independent of that. So I think it's so important to have this base of self-love so that, okay, I failed, but it's okay because you're yeah. still the same. Yeah. And your wife will still wow. love you. Yeah. You know, as you say this, and as experienced, mature guy, I understand what you're saying, and yet I think back to my younger self and I think what you're saying is really difficult, I think, for a lot of people. People, yeah, yeah. So how, how can they, what if they're listening or watching and they, they say, yeah, sounds great, you two, you two confident people. Yeah. You know, hey, I, I don't, I'm not there yet. I'm still at the failing, not getting a job stage or whatever. Yeah, yeah. How, and they say, oh, you're so positive, I can do it. What if they think, I can't do it. No. I, 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 I'm going to fail again. If I try again, I'm going to fail again. Yeah. And I'm never going to succeed. I'm yeah. never going to get there. Well, this, this is your inner critic. So what I also say in the book, first observe those voices in your head. What are they saying to you? And it's like Waldorf and Stadler from The Muppets. You have those two little men uh -huh. in your head talking like... Yeah. But the problem is that they're not just talking. They are shouting. And sometimes it's all we hear. And you start believing in it. So observe what they are saying to you, write them down, don't be judgmental about it, but look at it. So if that's what those voices are saying to you, if they were your best friends, would you still be friends with them? Probably not. So why are you telling this to yourself? Hmm. I think this is the first step and then you can look at the methodology from Byron Katie ask four questions like is it really true and I can tell you well I would say 99.9 percent .9 it's not true like I will never get there I will never never ever watch what you're saying to yourself what if you would change that and said I may not be there yet yeah, because then it yeah. has this aspiration like and also faith and even if you don't yeah. believe it yet yeah. i believe everything is energy and it will shift the energy okay yeah yeah if you believe strongly in something the universe will help you to accomplish it so if you yeah. say i'll never get there you will never, you get, will there. never get there yeah you'll never get there on the other hand even if you don't believe it yet you could say like I'll get there, yeah. the universe will make it happen for yeah. you to get there. It yeah. may not be easy. Yeah, it may I've not be tomorrow. My, I've had my struggles, st yeah. struggles, I can tell you, because it might seem right now like, okay, like you and right. I are confident, yeah. but we didn't get there from no. day one no. to day two. No. It was a struggle. Yeah, yeah. You know, it makes me think of right now, I've been taking uh, improv comedy classes in Amsterdam at Boom Chicago. Yeah. And when I say that to most people, they are horrified <laughs> yeah. because they think, why in the world would yeah. you torture yourself like that yeah. 
and go do this thing that most people think is only going to happen like in a prison when, when, when they're torturing you <laughs> and go, go on stage you have no idea what's going to happen yeah. you know you're going to get some suggestion from yes. the audience and go yeah. and figure it out yeah. and the people in the class we all think that's fun yeah. and but most people think that's terrible and yet still the, in the very beginning the very first class we had to go on stage the very first class and it was it was scary it was super yeah. scary yeah. but now I've been at it for a year and a half I've been I'm on stage every week and I have no idea what I'm going to say no idea what what the the suggestion is going to be and I'm just ready I and I'm, I'm just and so what is that is that there's some experience there I of course failed miserably many times I'm in a very safe environment yeah. boom Chicago yeah, we're all in the really same important. boat okay yeah. we're all and doing trust, it together and trust, trust that the inspiration will come okay because you've you've experienced that before that the inspiration will come yeah yeah and probably so you fail yeah so what yeah yeah have a laugh about it don't yeah. be so serious about yeah. it don't and and we condemn so often we yeah. judge yeah. all the time what if we didn't judge that much? Yeah. What if we had loads and loads of compassion with ourselves? As much compassion as we would have with a friend. Yeah. Things yeah. would be different. Yeah. No, I, I've worked in Germany, I've lived in Germany and the Netherlands and France and I, I think the northern European countries, especially as an American, it, it's, it was more, especially with the, ter with the idea of failure, yeah. especially like a business failure. Yes. A business failure. I remember in Germany, you fail, like, not your life is over, but pretty close. It's, it's not good. You have a big stamp on you that yeah. you're a failure. And whereas, especially I came from San Francisco, especially Silicon Valley, and where they would say, fail fast, fail often. often. Yeah. Yeah. And, and go fail and you're going to learn more from your failure than your successes. And that, yeah, I think definitely it's not the same as it used to be in Germany and Holland, but I think we should it's embrace still this more. so much more because there's yeah. still this, this, first of all, like with the finger, like yeah. you failed, da, yeah. da, 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 da. Yeah. but also, you know, like um, it does something with you. And what about thinking, okay, I needed to fail to come to where I am today. Yeah. I f my first business failed. And then a friend of mine said, what if you would see it as a very expensive school you did? <laughs> and that cha good. changed the whole game. Wow. Because I, like I thought, that. this is what it was. Because somehow deep within me, I knew it was not going to be successful. But I also knew it would lead me to something else. So I needed to go through that path. And, and I like that. And if we look at history, the biggest inventions were failures at first. Penicillin, yeah. post-it notes, microwave. Yeah. There are so many examples in history where is, if we hadn't embraced failure, we would never have gotten to it. Yeah. If you were a baby and if you, you know, if you start walking yeah, yeah, and yeah. if after two tries you say, Forget I'm never going to do it again. <laughs> It doesn't work that way, you know. We didn't have that that kind That's of funny. feeling yet. We just went yeah. on and on and yeah. on, and we succeeded. You know, and speaking of kids, like with the bicycle thing, they yeah. you can't. The, the kids aren't going to read the manual and how no. to ride the bike. No, they're going to get on the bike. They're going to fall over. They're going to crash. Yes, and they're going to say, "Oh, gravity. Oh, balance." And they're going to figure out, "Oh, I got a pedal and I got a steer and I got a balance." And oh, look, I'm doing it. Isn't that a beautiful metaphor for life? Yeah. If you would look at life like that, yeah. it would be so much lighter. You know, in talking with you, it's funny because I'm, I'm the inner uh, critic or, or yeah. negative. Yeah. The, he's little in me, right? Yeah. I, I am a positive, confident yeah. person. Yeah. But still, a part of me is like, damn it, you, you have a solution for everything. <laughs> Can't you just let me fail and be miserable and be not, oh, and not okay. confident? Okay, but I'm not saying that if you fail, that you can't have a thought like, oh, I hate right, this. Right, right. Absolutely. Okay, yeah, and you need yeah, to yeah, go yeah. through that. Yeah, yeah. Because not Pollyanna. No, no, definitely not. Because yeah. if you ignore it, I always say it comes up, it comes back like a pimple. Okay. You know, like <laughs> and worse. Like being in puberty. Probably worse. Being, yes, probably worse. Being yeah. like really big, you know, yeah, like yeah. 
So you need to acknowledge it. But there's a difference in, you know, letting it ruin or dictate yeah. everything wow. or looking at it like, okay, it happened. Yes, it is what it is. Have some compassion. Okay, so what are we going to do about yeah. it and go yeah. and move on? No, I'm not saying it denied because I no. think that's where spirituality sometimes goes wrong. Like we have to be this happy, the peppy yeah, yeah, all the yeah. time. And that's not working. Yeah, and you also, need everything. also, I'm, I, uh, I understand what you're saying about de denial. Yes. But also, you have so many, it sounds like you have so many tools yeah. to help you get out from under, or like you say, the learning, turn, turn the failure into a learning moment. Yes. And then, yes. And of course, if you're if you're failing, I mean, it's not fun. It sucks to fail, it sucks. and it's going to be awful, and it's going to be sad or mad or whatever. But it depends on that. Some, I, some great quote like, "Life isn't what happens to you, but how you react to what happens to that's you," it. or something like that. Yes, that's the choice we yeah. started with. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, and and maybe because I have had so many failures, and I've gone through so many deep. <laughs> yeah. deep areas that I yeah. I'm so glad that I learned the tools how to get me out of there yeah. and to be a different person because it's just I'm still the same person it's just the way I think has changed my mind has changed yeah and that changed my complete career my life everything wow. I want that for everybody yeah. Yeah. I see so many, especially young women nowadays, I see them struggle with their confidence and I'm like, oh, yeah. I wish, I wish you would just, you know, yeah. know these, these kind of tools which yeah. are not difficult tools. Yes. Yeah. No, there's a, so I, I, my undergraduate was first mathematics and yeah. so, and I don't, I'm not into complex mathematics, I like very simple mathematics, like zero sum. Yeah. The idea, right, where the if, if here's two books, and if I take one away, we take both away. Now there's zero. Zero. Yeah. So, what I like about confidence, and in my opinion, like love and happiness, it's that it's not a pie. That if I take a piece of pie, there's less pie. No. So, and in, in, in fact, I can add more, and then we can have even more. So, yes. like what you're saying to help the young women. Yes. That you give them give them some confidence and they have more, and then the real magic, I think, is that they get some, and you even get more yeah, back. True. So it's yeah. not that one plus one is two, it's really no. one plus one is three, yes. and there's more and more, and we can, that's why also we're here, we're not holding back the secrets of confidence, and we have all the secrets, no, and, and, and we you don't can't have all have the answers. Them. No, no, of course we not. don't. Right. It's just experience, and you know, having had a lot of training, having a lot of yeah. coaches, so I know it works. Yeah. And being really humble in a way yeah. Yeah. that I may be able to support others with this. Yeah. Also with my yeah. book. And I think, yeah, if somebody is then, if we make this place, this world a little bit better, then yeah. my mission is succeeded. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And on that note, that is a wonderful ending note here. I think so too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Tell us, where can people find, here's, here's a hardcover, by the way. Yeah. Here's a paperback. Where can people find your book? Yeah. Uh, when November, uh, September 27th. September right? 27th, it will be available through Amazon and uh, through Draft to Dig Digital, various yeah. through various uh, distribution yes. channels. But the first one is Amazon, and it will be yeah. released on the 27th of September. Wow, awesome! Well, Thanks. I look forward to talking with you. Well, I would love to talk with you again after your book is launched, and maybe a couple months down the road, and seeing how what kind of feedback you're receiving and uh, what you're hearing from people about your book. Her book Thank is you. Mind Your Confidence, Mind Your Business, The Seven-Step Gateway to Happiness and Success. And it's a gateway, so you still have gateway. to do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Karina, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you so this much. It was a pleasure. It was. Yeah, I looked, loved and, it. And the camera even stayed up the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, I didn't feel the camera was on anymore. No. You're just right. think we had a beautiful conversation. Yeah. 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 Great. Thanks, Thanks so much. Bye, everybody. Thanks.